storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Cole Mitchell Murphy, I'm gonna need you to go back to using your maiden name because you are a disgrace to Murphy's and you ain't no damn Murphy and you ain't married to no man, no, that man no more and your youngest son is almost grown. It might be time for you to go back to being the Cole Mitchell, okay? Plain Jane and dumb as hell. Nicole Mitchell Murphy, I am diagnosing you with being a chronic hussy, okay? Being a 50 year, year old fool. And in fact, I think you're 51. But anyway, 50-year-old fool and being an embarrassment to all biracials out there in the world and not knowing how to properly leverage your cookie and your looks for lifetime payment. Ew. Evelyn Lozada don't look half as good as you and she been able to at least keep her money coming in and stay on shows and open up some half red ass shoe businesses. What in the hell is wrong with you? Oh, if I only had a brain and you don't, okay? So, Nicole... You went there on Wendy Williams and thought we was as dumb as you and didn't. And, oh, I'm going there so hard already, Jesus. You thought we were as dumb as you and really believed that that kiss that you had with Antoine Fuqua and the Fuquas will fuck ya. You thought that he did fuck ya and we was going to all believe that. We don't, Nicole. We know how y'all get there. We saw that towel wrapped around his waist and we saw your nasty, cum filled tongue down his throat. Why in the H E double hockey stick did you think we would see that and not think that something was going on? Why are you acting like you don't know Leela, his damn wife? Nicole, you know his wife. Black Hollywood ain't but this small because y'all all sucking D under the tables behind the scenes to get the damn roles because you got to go extra hard to get the roles but you ain't even got no damn roles because you've been relaxing on Eddie's Murphy that's about to run out so you just sitting out here looking stupid stuff like Chuck you know Leela just like you knew Lisa Ray's husband and you damn sure know Lisa Ray so why did you think that we would believe what you told us did you think we was ignorant like those ninjas in Hollywood that put you on a pedestal because you are biracial and because you are so beautiful? Did you think we were stupid like them? Well, even they might be stupid when they enter your cookie pot, but you don't have that Jamaican voodoo cookie like Earth or Badu do. So they eventually wake up like Michael Gap too straight hand did and they leave you in the dust. Or they leave you for a lady in the night. Or a white girl. <laughs> All right, Nicole, so the first part of your script is that I am prescribing you a financial makeover, and you are going to get in touch with Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey has helped many of people get their situations together, and you are about to be destitute in less than 12 months. So he is going to help you get your sham of the finances together and give you the reality wake-up that you need that you are not really that famous. You ain't even rich. You happen to have looked up with one of the best comedians and actors of all time, but was so stupid as to lose your settlement money and not be able to lock down a gap to retired tired football player. Mm, I'm going to get into that in a minute. Anyway, you're going to get a financial makeover to try to save you from financial destitution. Second part of your script is that I'm getting you a damn Section 8 voucher. Because here's the thing. Your youngest kid that's 17 years old is turning 18 any day now. According to the streets, all of your lifestyle is financed by Eddie's child support money. That's why when he called you, he was like, Burr! and you, you answered, hey, Eddie. And he was like, get your ass on TV and fix it quick. And you knew what that meant, because when daddy say fix it, he about to cut you off. So... You're going to need a Section 8 voucher to go ahead and have some housing because after Eddie's child support money right now, I really don't know what you're going to do. That cookie box is old. Them eggs are scrambled, so we can't squeeze no more kids out of you. Don't nobody want to see you model no more. And that wrinkled neck ain't really getting the men that it used to. So we want to get you in one of them nice Section 8 apartments. And since you do got a kid under the age of 18, we can at least get you a two-bedroom and not one of the one-bedrooms on the end of the projects that we put our crazy, mentally ill, and child molesting uncles in. Y'all know them drunk uncles where you, you, tell, you know they ain't no good. 
Back in the day, my grandmama used to call it a crazy chick. Now I know it's SSI. You take them down there, you like, look, this, this is Negro can't work. Get him a little one bedroom on the end. He ain't got no kids. Nobody was ever dumb enough to get impregnated by him. All he wants is his money for his cigarettes and his stag. Get him over there to the side. We don't want you in one of those, all right? So we're going to get you in a nice two bedroom so you don't have to be put out by the sheriff because we don't know how you're going to pay your rent after Eddie's child support cuts off because Eddie ain't going to give you a dime. Well, I mean, he might, but you're going to slide through and give him some of that throat. So the choice is yours, but you're used to being a hussy and whoring yourself off, so that won't be too hard. The next part of your script is I'm prescribing you some plastic surgery, and it's going to be free of charge because we charging this to Medicaid. We charging this to the state because you do need it. Right now, oop, I had to drop a pen messing with you. Right now, your body is in three different ages, and I need you to pick one, okay? Your face is 50, your neck is 85, and your body is 30. I'm going to need you to figure out what you want to be, 30, 85, or 50, all right? You claim you're trying to open up a skincare line, but how you going to forget this right here? What is wrong with you? Look him, Mama D. What's that other, what's that other woman's name on, on Lies and Hip Slop that's trying to be something that she not, thinking she was a white woman with a white dog? Karen, Karen King. The king of shoplifting. Karen King, Mama D, all y'all that's bleaching and doing all this stuff to y'all skin and getting all this plastic surgery to y'all skin is forgetting your neck and your hands. This is where your age really showed the neck and the hands, all right? So you, you're 50 here, 85 here, and, and 30 here because the body's, body's right, all right? So I'm going to have you go to the plastic surgeon's office and we're going to pick an age and we're going to go with that so you ain't out here confusing these dumb ninjas when you try to get a check out of them, all right? Your script was actually pretty doggone easy, Nicole. And Nicole, the last part of your script is that I am prescribing you lesbianism for the rest of your life. Here's the thing. You done messed over a lot of men, all right? You had Eddie. That didn't work out. He gave you a settlement. You lost all that settlement to some 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 random ass white man that wanted to offer you investment opportunities. Investment? When was you ever an investor? When did you ever educate yourself on stocks and bonds and opening up businesses when you was with Eddie? You was not focused on that, Nicole. You was focused on being spread eagle, taking in baby batter, and spitting out them 18-year payment plans. You wasn't educating yourself. You went down there at the community college on Wednesday nights paying $75 for a, a tax class, an accounting class, to learn anything, a marketing class or nothing. You was relying. Somebody calling the doctor's line right now. Let me see who this is. Hell. People playing on my phone now. There's somebody from Pennsylvania. Hell, I ain't, I ain't got no clients in Pennsylvania. Anyway, Nicole. When you was with Eddie, you want to focus on bettering yourself and educating your damn self. Well, quite frankly, we don't even know if you can read. So you got around this white man. This white man hustled you out of all your money in one swoop. Talking about he going to pay your bills. He going to pay this for you. You ain't even got to worry about nothing. What is it with rich people? You ain't rich no more. What is it with formerly rich people that think... You ain't got to pay your bills just because you're rich. Is it really so hard to pay the mortgage? Is it really so hard to pay the, the, the cable company and pay your taxes? Everything is automated nowadays. That's just lazy. Well, that lazy got you lost and shook about all your cash. Here's the thing with me. Even if I would have been foolish enough to give away all of my millions because I've never had that kind of money, I'm going to tell you this. If I got 17 mil, you talking about investing, I, I might have been dumb enough to give you half because at least if that half fall through, I still got nine million or whatever the hell to live off of and I can flip that into some more. Damn it, Nicole, even if you only gave them 80% and you would have been left with something, you wouldn't left with nothing but a wrinkled neck Bad credit and a negative balance in your checking account. Oh, Lord, how far did we fall? So I want you to try out some women, and I want you to get some women 
with some cash, so I'm going to prescribe you to go and suck Ellen DeGeneres' cookie box. I want you to suck all the coins that you can up out of it. I'm sure her and Portia would love to have some threesomes with you. I want you to suck, 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 suck. Then lady your lips like you ain't never did it before. You know how RuPaul's Drag Race, they say lip sync for your life? Lady a suck for your finances. <laughs> Man, Nicole, get up out of my office. I, I can't stand a hussy. And in addition to being a hussy, I can't stand a lying hussy. Leela know you and you know Leela. And that was wrong what you did with Fuka. It was dead wrong. And if I was Leela, I would mollywop you. I would sit on your wrinkled neck until you couldn't breathe, okay? She's a lot better than me. That's why God didn't make me no woman. Because I just believe in revenge. And you doing what you did, being so close to her and putting it out there, maybe you thought that was going to solidify your relationship with Antoine Fuqua and the Fuquas. Well, fuck you. Yeah. You thought it was going to solidify that, but it did not. It solidified you as a dummy. That's a stupid, a stupid eye. And quite frankly, triste. Very sad. Oh, God. I put this picture up with you, with your siblings, and you as a kid. Cause this was, this was you back in your former days, way before you, you know, you became a hussy. You know, did you were, I get, I mean, maybe you were a hussy in training back then, but I don't think so. You seem to have had a wholesome upbringing, beautiful family, two parents that loved you, gave you a chance in this world. God gave you the best of both races, and tall enough to literally go out and accomplish anything you wanted and to be anything you wanted, and you, so you, you messed over it all. And now you're walking around with a soul cookie, 85-year-old neck, looking dumb, looking slow, and a bank account that's looking sad. It might be as sad as mine, Nicole. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Giving everything. Six feet tall, big booty, squeezed out five kids, and you still in shape? You still able to get any ninja that you want? And you mess over that? You had to go get one that was married. Why you ain't went and got one of them white billionaires? Why you, maybe I need to actually get you a plane ticket to go over to Dubai and get R. Kelly a few times so you can get that bank account up. Matter of fact, don't do that because they paying them olds in bitcoins and I don't want you to mess that up because damn it, if you can't even hold on to millions, you sure can't hold on to no bitcoins or know how to transfer it or nothing like that. I don't know what else to say about you. You sad, you through, RIP to your cookie, RIP to your finances. Call Ellen. What other what other lesbians in the industry can you get with? I don't know. Call somebody. I'm sure it's plenty behind the scenes. I need you to suck as much labia lips and dookie shoots as you can until that bank account come up. It's time to get to work, Nicole. And get up out of my office because I don't want your hussiness to rub off on my clients. Present that medicated tanner card to the cashier on the left. Make sure you check out with Nurse Tiffany too because Nurse Tiffany got a few windmills for you as well. And that's that, Nicole Mitchell Murphy, who needs to go back to Nicole Mitchell. Now, before I go, let me shout out my sponsor. Shout out to Smile Love. Smile Love provides an alternative solution to traditional braces. Use my discount code STORM550 to get $550 off your new set of aligners today. Shout out to Lotus Radiance. They make a mango extract body butter that will have your skin... Well, it would have your neck not looking like Nicole Mitchell Murphy's, all right? It'd have you looking like her body, not her neck, not her throat, all right? Shout out to Regina's hair salon down in Houston, Texas. She got a 4.8 out of 5-star rating on Facebook. And in addition to that, Regina is just a bomb when it comes to laying down hair. Shout out to Bridget at Blessed Fragrances. Use my discount code STORM to get 15% off your Blessed fragrance. Get you a fragrance that'll have you smelling like Dior without having a swag that makes this card, all right? Like, comment, subscribe, and share if you care for celebrity prescriptions, entertainment news, or whatever I pull out of my behind. And I will catch you guys later. Uh, it's Storm Show. Hey, it's Storm Show.